here we are. I'm a little bit, I'm a little pissed off. I'm a little pissed off. I've, I have done this three times already on my phone because it, I think my camera's glitching. Maybe I don't have enough storage, but after a while, it just stops. I can't do shit about it. I don't know what's going on. So, we're going to do this a fucking again. 90% chocolate. Dark chocolate, sorry. And you can actually see it, um, you know, the correct way. You can actually read it. And then we also have raspberry. <sighs> I've already eaten two things of this 90% dark chocolate. And this is just not really the chocolate I want to have. <laughs> More than once, really. <laughs> but I'll go over everything very quickly. Both of these come in a nice tin foil um, in this cardboard. And what you do, you just throw it in your fridge, keep it nice and cool, and then you get this nice, like, crisp, nice crunch to it, you know? Very nice. Very solid. Um,. As I've said multiple times already, um, this dark chocolate's not really a chocolate you want to have multiple times. It's not really something you go to enjoy. It is more of the experience, I guess. And, oh my god, you, you do not want to have a lot of this. You can, you can finish this in one sitting. I think if you finish this in one sitting, you might throw up. It's very rich. Very, very rich. The longer you have it in your mouth, the richer it gets. The more flavor you kind of get from it, the longer you just have it on your palate. So, it's... <laughs> It's not the best. It's not the best. I like I like dark chocolate, but 90% too much, you don't eat it. Oh my god. I'm so glad this recording's working. Anyways, on to the better chocolate that I can actually just kind of like enjoy. Very nice. So we have this raspberry. I think it is dark chocolate. Usually, these are dark chocolate. Um, yes, dark chocolate with natural raspberry flavors. And there we are. A little bit of a different design. Has an eagle. Or, yeah, probably an eagle. And I do want to show you. It's not, like, a filling, so to say. You can't see it, but you can kind of taste it and feel it. There's, just, like, these little, little, uh, raspberry crystals, almost, inside of the chocolate. That gives it its flavor. Um, definitely more enjoyable than the 90%. Um, I don't think on the packaging it says the percentage of this. I would say around 70, though. I would say, yeah, I would say around 70% dark chocolate for this one. Um, it's much better. Much better. Um, anyone who doesn't enjoy dark chocolate, or anyone who's not had dark chocolate, stick to 70. That way it's, it's better, you know? Because it's not really that rich. It's more or less... Um, Eh, 
Eh, no, but it's still rich. I was going to say it's it's less sweet, but then at the exact same time, why would you want something less sweet when you're just going to have like raspberry flavoring to it? I don't, I don't know. So, I'm going to keep this one a bit short. But I'm not done yet. We have two smaller things in big bags. These are my favorite Brookside dark chocolates. And this is pomegranate. And then we have Reese's Pieces. Um, I do love me a fair bit of uh, peanut butter flavored stuff. And just like peanut stuff. My hair has slowly gone from like normal to like kind of like clownish. So excuse that. You get these guys, these little pomegranate things. These are very nice. Very, very nice. What I like to do, pop it in my mouth, let it dissolve, get all the chocolate off of it. And then, and then you eat the pomegranate filling. And now I'll show you, see if I can find a bigger one. Um, if you don't know what's in here, that's, um, It's not like an actual pomegranate thing. It's pomegranate juice. And you really can't see it. But there's two. Let's see if. No, you're not going to get that. But. And this one, there's two, like, pomegranate kind of like jelly things. They're kind of jelly like. Um, solidified substance. Yada yada. But these. Very good. Also dark chocolate, as I said. Beautiful pomegranate filling. Very good. Reese's Pieces. Huh. They're just Reese's Pieces, you know. Um. Crack open this bag now. Oops. This is definitely a huge bag. For right now, I just got a handful. Can't really show you that way. But we won't. They're just good. They're just good. Um, good. Small little review for those things. But I will give you a rating for everything that I have reviewed. So... Starting with the dark chocolate, 90%, I would say 5 out of 10, 5 out of 10, that seems fair, because it's not, you just have one square of it, that's it, and then maybe it's a 6 out of 10, um, <laughs> it's just way too dark, it's way too rich, the raspberry dark chocolate on the other hand, much better, it's not stellar, you know, I would say a 7 out of 10. I know it's only like 2 point increase, but it, it's, you know, it's not like insanely good. These guys. These guys are great. I'd say 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. I love them. But I think like maybe 4 years ago, they changed the pomegranate flavor just slightly, and I noticed right away it would have been a 10 out of 10, but... Something happened with the flavoring along the way. It's no longer the best. But it's still amazing because I still can't taste the difference now. And then Reese's Pieces, th that's like a different scale. They're not even chocolate. They're not even dark chocolate. I would also say like a 9 out of 10. It's, they're just good. They're just good. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I wanted this to be short, but this is around 10 minutes now. Um, I did have technical difficulties. I'm sorry that this couldn't be on my phone with high quality, but you do get the good mic. At least I'm getting my money's worth because this whole setup is a lot of money. But thank you. Um, probably won't see you soon. Uh, I might do something for Thanksgiving. 
might do something around Christmas. I don't think I'm going to be uploading like any more video game stuff. Uh, it's it's not the... Uh, I don't... Uh, yeah. Probably no more video game stuff. If you do want to go see video game stuff that I am in, you can go see Missing Nile on YouTube. That's Missing Nile on YouTube. I'm in a couple of his GTA 5 videos. Um, I didn't talk too much. I was very sick. But if you are missing my voice that much, go to Missing Nile on YouTube. He also has Twitch and a Twitter and all that. But thank you for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed. And I probably won't see you soon. Maybe two months? I don't know. Have a good one.